Wills for Hope cares to help people in need find reliable transportation. Jamelia McLean is one of those people. She just received her Civic after years of riding the bus to and from work. Jamelia was referred to Wheels for Hope from the Durham Housing Authority. She joins us now along with Tammy Jacobs of Ross Services Department of the Durham Housing Authority. Ladies, it's nice to have Welcome. you here. Thank you. Glad First, Jamelia, tell me, how's it feel to be driving your own car? It feels static. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I got chills just hearing you talk about it. Oh, yeah. oh congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. And Tammy, how did Jamelia get connected with you guys? Well, we petitioned for a partnership with Wheels for Hope, and based on the stipulations of that, she qualified. She's one of my top residents, so that was one of the stipulations, that you have to be working for a year, be um, committed to your goals, and be accomplishing those goals. And she is the epitome of that. And so each recipient has to set goals, is yes. that right? Yes. What were some of your goals, Jamelia? Um, to um, obtain my own transportation, um, get my GED, um, and get my um, early teaching education um, degree, and um, uh, was it, um, live a, le a healthier lifestyle, yeah, lose yeah. weight. Um, and so how are you doing towards achieving doing, all that? I'm doing great, Miss Tammy. <laughs> Miss Tammy is a great supporter. She's already helped me accomplish my goal of getting my own transportation, and. Um, uh, she's just a great support system. Her and Shanye Reigns, they're both great support systems. And Tammy, I'm curious, how do partnerships with Wheels for Hope help? How does that create? Well, not only does it help as far as gaining the access to the car for such a lower price than what you would pay at a normal de dealership, but you also gain a sistership with other agencies because the connection con continues. So you get networking beyond Durham Housing Authority and beyond Wheels for Hope as well because they keep all of us in the loop together so we're all continuously doing more and more projects to continue the self-sufficiency of the resident. I'm sure you could use some community support. How can the public help? Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, oh, wow, yes. They can definitely donate cars. They, they'll, they'll even come and pick it up. If you can't come or bring it, they'll come and pick it up. So you can definitely and donate it. cars. They'll pick it up. They will, they will definitely. And um, if they can't, if it's a wow. car that's not um, suitable for the program, they will um, option it off, and those funds will go towards the program, too. So you can definitely donate cars. Look at um, you being a Wheels for Hope I know, she's like a spokesperson. <laughs> I got my car. And you can volunteer. To know. And yes. they need volunteers, too, people to help go That's pick cars nice. up in partner garages, too. So you can volunteer if you're a garage and you want to help out, or if you just want to volunteer, period, with the program. They definitely definitely need your help. That wonderful. is wonderful. And what yes. does the housing authority need? Well, we have ongoing projects and we're grant funded positions. So any type of funding that we do, we all try to come together to do that. So any donations, we do um, women's conferences. We've got one coming up November 1st. We need food for that. We need transportation you for that. You need, 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 need. Help needs. them out. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for thank being you. here with us. Thank you. Can you help? Donate your old vehicle to Wheels for Hope. You can call them at 919-832-1941.